mornings with your consumer champ, Mark Thompson. Hello, Mark. Good morning, guys. Now, we're talking driverless cars. We're still a few decades out, but they are on the way. Again, autonomous or self-driving cars, they truly are the way of the future. And some technology, it's already out on the roadway right now, but a lot of things still need to be worked out. Case in point, the feds are investigating Tesla after a couple of crashes involving its autopilot system. Now, it's not a true autopilot, meaning the car doesn't actually drive itself, but the driver can take their hands off the wheel and foot off the accelerator, and it will navigate through traffic. I actually test drove one of these. And the insurance industry, they're paying close attention as well as true driverless cars when they eventually come out will raise questions as to future liability. Will the driver be liable for a crash or is the manufacturer at fault if the driverless system was supposed to be doing the driving? I spoke with Ian Adams. He's a senior fellow with the R Street Institute, which is a think tank out of Washington, D.C. that's been studying the ins and outs of driverless cars, regulation and insurance. If we move toward more of a fleet model and away from a personal ownership model, you're going to see liability placed on the manufacturers. And in fact, there are a number of manufacturers, Volvo, for instance, that has said they will take the liability of their vehicles when they are operating in fully autonomous mode. Now, you heard him reference this. Insurance is now based on a personal ownership model, but as more people choose to either use ride sharing as their primary means of transportation or when driverless cars become a reality, insurance will move more towards a commercial-based or fleet-based model. But the bottom line is, and what Adams really wants to make clear, is that all of these driverless car advancements and technology, it's designed to greatly improve safety and reduce crashes. So eventually, with fewer crashes in theory rates should go down but that's way down the road guys back to you we're probably 30 years or so out from true autonomous vehicles yeah being and I feel like the more people you have using these vehicles that possibly accidents could go up I know the technology still needs to be worked on but clearly it's not being used fully right now with yeah. people behind the well, wheel the, the theory is the cars will start to be able to talk to each other more mm -hmm. so they should be able to avoid more crashes once it's fully in place but there's a lot of work that that needs to be done but in theory it'll be driving at a uniform speed so there okay. really won't be uh, uh, as much room for human error in crashes i see mm -hmm. all right you know it's fun, a funny tidbit about the driverless cars and mark and i have talked about this the driverless cars get into a lot of accidents because they're following the rules of the road Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Typically. Yeah. Everybody else isn't. Right. Well, mm -hmm. All right. Good today, point. thanks.